So we've got some exciting news about Honda's lineup for 2024, straight from the recent press conference. The all-new Civic Hybrid brings a refreshing take on the beloved model. Set to hit North American markets in the summertime, this hybrid beauty boasts a 2.0-liters hybrid system with two motors, delivering around 180 horsepower and over 200 pound-feet of torque. While we're still awaiting official EPA figures, we expect this powerhouse to easily surpass 40 miles per gallon, offering both efficiency and performance. The new wheel designs are sleek and eye-catching. They're like rockets taking off at each spoke. The Civic Hybrid will be available in both hatchback and sedan variants, giving you options to suit your style. The Sport Touring Edition, currently exclusive to the hatchback in North America with a 1.5 liters turbo engine, this model comes with either a six-speed manual or a SCVT. Sporting the familiar hybrid logo seen on the Accord and CRV, the Sport Touring trim, equipped with parking sensors, stands as the highest grade for the Civic, excluding the performance-oriented Type R. Comparing the pre-refreshed Civic with the upcoming model, the headlights have undergone some subtle updates. The European spec hybrid variant showcases what seems to be a higher quality LED beam. The removal of the honeycomb grille gives the front end a cleaner look, though opinions may differ on the additional eyelid beneath the headlights. The bottom section of the front fascia introduces a streamlined design, possibly hinting at the absence of traditional fog lights. It's worth noting that these observations are based on available images. The bottom portion of the front fascia, despite its decorative nature, primarily serves as a stylistic element, allowing minimal air passage. The absence of fog lights in the new model may spark personal preferences, some may favor the sleeker look, while others might miss the classic design with fog lights. A notable change lies in the body coloring at the bottom of the chin, which is now paint-matched. However, the previous design with paint that wraps around has been discontinued. It's a take-it-or-leave-it situation, and I'm eager to hear your opinions down in the comments. Rest assured, though, the driving experience of the Civic remains unchanged, and the hybrid variant adds a new layer to the driving dynamics. Shifting our focus to the rear, the taillights seem consistent with previous models, while the rear bumper area exhibits a subtle difference, providing a fresh perspective for Civic Sedans. Unfortunately, the images available are limited, leaving some room for your imagination to envision the complete picture. In 2024, Honda plans to introduce two zero-emission vehicles, the all-new electric Prologue SUV and the CRV fuel cell vehicle. The Prologue, crafted by General Motors at the Ramos Rie plant in Mexico, is said to make its initial debut in California, ZEV states, and EV-friendly markets like Texas and Florida. The nationwide rollout is anticipated by the end of 2024, with the initial allocation targeting specific regions. The CRV fuel cell vehicle, featuring a next-generation fuel stack and a plug-in range, is a fusion of battery electric and fuel cell technologies, blurring the lines between traditional hybrid and fuel cell classifications. More details on the CRV fuel cell are expected to emerge soon, so stay tuned for the scoop. Now, a surprising tidbit about the CRV hybrid, it stands as the best-selling hybrid in North America, boasting an impressive 360,000 units sold last year. While Honda may not match Toyota's overall hybrid sales, the individual success of the CRV hybrid is a noteworthy achievement. As we circle back, questions arise about the volume Honda and Acura can secure from General Motors, considering the challenges faced by the broader EV market. According to Mamadou, General Motors is confident that their supply will align with demand, avoiding over- or undersupply. It's a strategic move considering the current EV market trends. Bringing in all full circle, the press release hints at exciting enhancements for the entire Civic lineup in the 2025 model year, promising both styling and feature upgrades for the Civic Hybrid, Satan, and Hatchback. Starting with the Civic Hybrid, the upcoming model promises to be a game-changer, with rumors circulating about potential upgrades like a larger screen and integrated Google features. While the specifics remain a bit of a mystery, the current Civic is already a stellar package. It's a head-turner in terms of design and performance. The Civic Hybrid, set launch this summer, is projected to comprise a whopping 40% of model sales, contributing significantly to the brand's already impressive hybrid sales record in 2023. Imagine hitting the roads with a Civic Hybrid, achieving outstanding fuel economy and knowing you're part of the 40% making an eco-conscious choice. While it's not an entirely new model, the Odyssey will receive styling and technology enhancements to keep it at the forefront of the minivan segment. Sadly, no news on an Odyssey Hybrid yet. 
Now let's pivot to Honda's electrifying journey. We've previously delved into the Zero Series for Honda's EVs, scheduled to hit production in 2026, but the electrification tale doesn't end there. Acura, the sibling brand, has some exciting news. Enter the ZDX, available for purchase 100% online through the Omni channel. Orders can be placed starting February, offering a seamless online experience for prospective buyers. Acura best-selling model, the MDX is getting a makeover. Despite its timeless design, the MDX is set to receive significant enhancements, including styling changes. As a bonus, the addition of the Bang & Olufsen premium audio system is sure to elevate the driving experience. The MDX is making a bold move by bidding farewell to the true touch interface and welcoming a touchscreen. The touchpad is taking a backseat, allowing for a more user-friendly and spacious center console. It's a win for simplicity and functionality, making the MDX the first to ditch the touchpad for a more intuitive touchscreen experience. The TLX's true touch interface left much to be desired, especially when it came to Android Auto. The beautiful 12-inch screen couldn't be fully utilized for Android Auto, and using the touchpad for it was a headache and a half. But hey, that's old news. Acura has bidded you to the touchpad on new products, including the RDX. Speaking of the RDX, this luxury crossover is gearing up for some enhancements to elevate its appeal and functionality. While its cargo space is already impressive, there's a promise of an even better RDX hitting the road soon. Picture a super-handling all-wheel drive, 300-plus horsepower Type S model. Exciting. Acura is unleashing an all-new crossover later this year, positioned at the gateway of the lineup alongside the Integra. Think of it as the HRV personified with an Acura twist. We anticipate powertrains similar to the Integra, possibly a Type S with over 300 horsepower, and a base model with a 1.5 liters turbo and CVT. The Integra and its new crossover sibling share this fate of having a CVT as the base transmission, a decision likely driven by cost considerations. Honda, after a challenging 2022, bounced back with over 30% year-over-year sales growth in 2023. Eyes set on the future, they aim for a 10% increase in 2024 compared to the previous year. Honda, the standalone badge, is targeting 1.3 million units, while the Acura brand is setting its sights on 150,000 units. Ambitious, reflecting a projected 10-15% to increase in sales for American Honda. Navigating the uncharted waters of 2024 with potential challenges like high interest rates, Honda is optimistic about maintaining sales momentum. With a strong inventory of both cars and trucks, they are well-positioned to tackle whatever comes their way. While not explicitly mentioned, a tantalizing glimpse of a new Honda Passport render surfaced during a press briefing. A more boxy and off-road-ready Passport, observed from a rear-left quarter perspective, hinted at a potential redesign. Keep in mind it was a render possibly hand-drawn. A closer look at the new Passport design shows some serious Bronco Sport vibes, but with that unmistakable Honda twist. Imagine a passport, but bigger and bolder, set to make its debut by the end of 2025. Going full on body on frame is unlikely for Honda, but they are promising a more rugged and capable passport. Looking ahead to 2024 and beyond, Honda's lineup is shaping up to be a car enthusiast's dream. The new Civic Hybrid, the refreshed Odyssey, and updates to the MDX. The anticipation is real. Share your excitement in the comments below. Which Honda releases got you counting down the days?